Oh no, Kitty. We have lost the internet connection. Oh no. Hmm. Don't worry. I think it will get back in a while. Hey friends, Kitty and I are sending our Halloween pictures to our friends. But unfortunately, we lost our internet connection. And I'm sure you already know how it feels when that happens as it's difficult to imagine our lives without the internet nowadays. Wait a minute. That's an excellent topic to explore. Hello friends. Have you ever wondered what the internet exactly is and how it works? I'm sure you did. So, by the time the internet reconnects, let's search the world of the internet and learn how it works. Zoom in. Well, when I was young, I believed that the internet was some magic trick created by a secret group of magicians which makes it float through the clouds. <laughs> but when I came across its actual definition, I understood that it is a network that connects millions of computers worldwide. Hmm. But the important question still remains the same. How does this magic happen? Imagine you and your friend want to share a picture or some other essential document with each other. And to do so, the first thing you both will need are computers that are connected in a network with the help of the internet. Then, once you establish this connection, you visit the website using a browser. Log into your account, type your message or attach the file you wish to send and finally, when everything is done, you press the send button and voila, it's done. Sounds easy, right? Well, what looked so easy at first glance has a complex system working behind it. Yes, my friends, the messages you send are actually enormous in size and it's very hard for the internet to carry such a massive packet to its destination. So, to make it easier, this huge packet is broken down into smaller packages and then they are moved further to the receiver with the help of an essential device called the router. And what is a router? A router is a networking device that helps in the transfer of data packets between computer networks. In other words, from a sender to the receiver. But how? Well, it does with the help of an internet protocol or an IP address. Oh no! Now what's an IP address? So many technical terms. Oof! <laughs> but let me explain. Just like you have your home address, every server has its unique address called the IP address that allows a system to be recognized by other systems connected via internet protocol. When the packets are received by the router, the router reads the IP address information mentioned on the package and then sends it to the correct path to reach its destination by following certain rules. Yes, my friends, just like we have traffic rules to protect us from any accidents, the internet has some rules and regulations as well called the TCP. TCP is a set of protocols developed for the internet to get data from one network device to another. And by following these protocols, the data gets delivered in the best possible way to its destination without any problem and issues. When these packets finally arrive at the receiver's router, 
They are put together according to the instructions and that's how your friend's computer receives your message. And believe me, all this happens within just a fraction of seconds. Isn't it really magical, friends? Trivia time! Did you know the first ever email was sent in 1971? Also, it is estimated that 4 billion out of the 7 billion people on Earth are already online. And thanks to the internet, you can see your most favorite show called The Dr. Binox Show. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, uh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!